basically, if you don't hate your job, it's not a real job. Is kind of the perception that I feel like we generally have. And I just don't understand it. How many times have you thought about quitting your job and starting a new life? Hey, I'm Lindsay, the girl who actually did that. And now I'm on a mission to change the nine to five narrative that dreading Monday and working for the weekend is normal and acceptable. My goal is to help you see your potential beyond your credentials, gain clarity on what it means to live life on your own terms, and build the confidence to go after your dream career. I'm here to prove to you that it's possible for you to do work you love, make a positive impact on the world, make even more money than you're making right now, and live a deeply fulfilling life. So let's dive in. Hello, fam. Okay, so I wanted to share with you a conversation that I had. Well, it wasn't actually a conversation, um, but... A comment that was made um, that just got me thinking and I feel like it's a conversation that needs to be had so I wanted to share my thoughts and get your thoughts um, so let me let me just tell you a quick story from my Super Bowl Sunday so during the halftime show obviously Shakira and JLo were on killing it um, and I was talking about how I just can't believe that JLo's 50 years old. Like, she looked freaking amazing. I was just like, how? How? Someone explain. Um, so I made a comment about how JLo looks amazing and I can't believe she is 50 years old. And one of my family members said something along the lines of, well, yeah, when you're rich and you don't have a real job you can look like that. Like, I'm assuming she meant, she didn't really actually clarify what she even meant by that, but I'm assuming she meant like you'd have the money and the time to like hire an expensive personal trainer or something and like eat, like follow some strict diet and eat all the healthy foods and like work out all the time. Like whatever that even means, but that's not really the point. What shook me the most was that she referred to JLo's career as not a real job. <laughs> and I just have a lot of thoughts about that because I, I just feel like in general, as a society, we have this perception of like celebrities and rich people and famous people as like their they're like not in the real world right like they are like out of touch and like but we never stop to think about the fact that they got to where they are because they worked really freaking hard to get there like JLo yeah JLo right now is JLo like she is rich and looks amazing but like she freaking did that <laughs> like she did that she put in the work to get to where she is so i don't i just i don't really understand why we have this perception that like like celebrities don't have quote real jobs like and i also get it because looking from the outside it's easy to just see where someone is now to see their success and think that like it was easy for them or they just got lucky or it was just like handed to them, but that's never the case. And I don't actually, I probably should have actually looked up JLo's backstory, but I guarantee you she had to work really freaking hard and work through a ton of challenges to get to where she is now and freaking become JLo. Like, are you kidding me? She didn't just like come out the womb rich and like famous and successful. Like no one does. <laughs> That's just not how it works, but for some reason, we seem to have this perception that celebrities didn't get to where they are by putting in hard work, that they just, like, were born and had either natural talent or were, like, just born rich and then 
got famous and now like their life is just easy and they're just chilling like no j-lo even now i'm sure wor works really freaking hard every day to be j-lo like i don't understand how we can classify <laughs> celebrities as not having real jobs and i just think it's a discussion that really needs to be had um and i also think that a lot of times it's a cop-out. Like it is a cop-out for us to look at someone like JLo, look at um, someone who has a lot of money, someone who's famous, some celebrity, and say that they don't have a real job, right? And what I mean by that is, and the way that, that my family member said this on Sunday, when she was like, yeah, you can look like that when you don't have a real job and you have money. Like, that's just you making an excuse for why you don't look like that. <laughs> and it's just you making an excuse for why you don't have as much money as you want or why you're not as successful as you want to be. And you can look to someone who is successful and has the body you want or whatever, whatever it is, has as much has a lot of money and say that like they were just lucky or that they don't have a quote real job whatever that even means and then say yeah well she can look like that because she's rich because she has so much time for whatever reason right and when you attribute their success to those factors rather than attributing their success to the fact that they worked really fucking hard to create the life that they have for themselves then you don't have to feel bad about the fact that you are not as successful as you want to be right because those people just like have something that we don't and so we we want to just like make excuses right like yeah if i had that much money i would also look like that because i'd hire some personal trainer but you don't need a personal trainer in order to have the body you want. Like you can do that. You can put in the work and do it. You're just not doing that. Um, and so I think it's really tough for our ego to look to people who are crazy successful and rich and famous and realize that we could do that too. We're just playing small. We're just not living up to our potential. Like that is a harsh reality for our ego to face. So instead our ego says, oh, that person just got lucky. Oh, that person just was born into wealth. Oh, that person just had a big break. And I mean, every single time you look into a celebrity's actual backstory, there's always struggles. There's always something. I mean, I made one of my first podcast episodes was about this where you know, like J.K. Rowling got rejected, I think it was 12 times by 12 publishers before Harry Potter became Harry Potter. Like, she didn't just get lucky and have a big break and then became J.K. Rowling and became a rich and famous author. Like, she had to put in the work and she had to keep showing up and keep facing rejection and keep failing and getting back up and keep going, even when I'm sure she wanted to quit. I just... I guess there's just a perception that it's easy for people. And I think looking from the outside at someone who is successful and looking at their life, maybe it's hard for us to see all the challenges they faced because we're only seeing the end result and the success of it. And then for some reason, we, we just assume it was easy for them. But that's never true. It's literally never true. And I, I don't really understand... I mean, the term real job, quote, real job in general, I don't really understand why that's a term. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> like, how can we classify certain, certain careers as a real job versus not a real job? Like, can somebody explain to me what the hell that even means, right? And I feel like we have this perception that, like, if you're not – if you're not like grinding every day, if you're not going to an office, if you're 
basically if you don't hate your job it's not a real job is kind of the perception that i feel like we generally have and i just don't understand it and even for me like i know i mean my family will like make comments once in a while saying how i don't have like a real job because i'm not like going to an office or whatever the reason is and like, I get it. But then when I really think about it, I'm like, okay, but what, how is this not a real job? Like I'm putting in the work every single day to freaking build a whole business. Like that's a fucking job. I work a lot harder than I used to work when I was an accountant. But for some reason, what I'm doing now is not a quote real job. Like I, I don't get it. And I don't understand how you can look at like celebrities and think that they don't put in work every single day. Like, they they got to where they are and they have a probably, quote, easy life right now because they put in so much freaking work to get there, you know? And I actually was listening to a podcast. I think it was a School of Greatness, Lewis Howe's podcast, and um, he actually re- posted an interview that he did last year with Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant was saying how when he first started playing basketball, like when he first picked up a basketball when he was 11 years old, he was terrible. He couldn't make a shot. Like, you, and it's like, you aren't, he wasn't just born Kobe Bryant. He became Kobe Bryant literally because he put in 10 times more work than anybody else was willing to do. Because he was there practicing and working out and, doing whatever the frick it took to become Kobe Bryant and become the best at what he was doing. So I don't like, are you going to tell me that Kobe Bryant didn't have a real job? Like what? I don't understand it. Like we need to change this freaking narrative that like celebrities have easy lives and not real jobs. Like you are, are not somehow more noble because you're going to a job that you fucking hate every day and sitting in an office for 10 hours. Like, that. how does that make you any, like, superior to someone who created a career where they don't have to sit in an office all day? And they put in the work to get to a point where they now have the career and the life that they want. And they have enough money to probably retire early or not work every day or whatever, whatever it is. Like, I just don't understand this perception and I think it needs to change. And I would love to know what you think about this. Feel free to comment or send me a DM. Um, but this needs to change. It really just does. Or if someone can at least offer me an explanation of what the definition of a quote real job is i would really truly appreciate it but that is all i wanted to put my two cents in on that i love you and i hope you have an amazing day <laughs>